Hi everyone, I'm Professor Candelaria and welcome to either Advanced Composition for Future Teachers, which is English 333, or Science, Technology, and the Literature of Cultural Change, which is English 350. Right now I'm going to do just a short video talking about the basics of how our courses will be ran. Um, I'm trying to do these really quick videos because I know that we all become a little bit of zombies as we're working um, through our semester in these unprecedented times with COVID. I'm not really sure how all of your classes are running, so I'm trying to be very sensitive to the fact that some of us are going to be really heavily um, on the computer. So I'm going to be sending these really quick videos for you to watch and I'm really hoping that you will habituate uh, watching them as soon as they show up. So that is one thing I just wanted to share really quickly. The second um, thing I wanted to just talk about or really the meaning of this whole video is to tell us a little bit about how our course will be running. So my course is a semester will be fully online and asynchronous. And you may be asking yourself, well, what does that mean, fully online and asynchronous? And how is that different from my other courses? Well, fully online just means we're doing everything via the internet. Um, we're not meeting face-to-face. -face. Um, we can't meet face-to-face. -face. Um, everything we do will be through remote distance learning. The second piece, the asynchronous piece, this is where things can get a little confusing for students. But the reality is, is I decided not to hold standard course or class times, right? So we won't have a regular time during the week that we're meeting. You're gonna be working through the course material on your own. There are due dates and things that you have to do every week, but we're not gonna be meeting together as a big group and um, talking about the course material. We're gonna work asynchronously through the online modality. We're gonna be using things like discussions and, and um, assignments to be able to uh, work in that way and hopefully build some community. Since we're, we are working asynchronously, so on our own, and, not, and we're not meeting at any specific time, I am available for you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and um, I can set up 15 to 30 minute meetings with you to go over any specific questions that you have. One of the reasons why I really like this form that we will be utilizing in our classes, or in my classes, is that it allows me to have one-on-one -on -one time with you, and for me that's really important. One of the things I miss the most about the classroom experience is really getting to connect with my students. And so in this case, I can spend some time meeting with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And there are several times during the semester well, where I will say to you, it's time for you to meet with me. Um, so I'm looking forward to those times that I can just spend personal time with you and get to know you. So that's how we're gonna work, and I just wanted to make sure that that was really clear. So we're asynchronous, and we're fully online. The second thing I wanted to share with you was how information is going to be getting to you, and how information is going to be getting to me. So first of all, how you're gonna get course information. I have created a website um, that is uh, a personal website that allows you to connect to my courses. This website um, will contain all of the course information and the prompts for the readings and the discussions, um, all the materials. It will kind of give you a weekly breakout of what we're doing. Um, so that is going to be on a website and it's created through Wix. And the link to that website will be found on Blackboard. So I would suggest right away, go ahead and getting into that website, which you have access to now and starting to familiarize yourself with it. I haven't closed anything, so you can start to look at all of the things that are gonna be due all semester long, all of the different materials that we're gonna use, and you will be able to really start to sink in your teeth into the course right now. That is the first way that information is going to be getting to you, is through the website on Wix. The second modality or platform that we're going to use is going to be Blackboard. So Blackboard is the perfect way for you to get information to me. So when you're turning in a paper or you're doing a discussion or we're having a class discussion, everybody's looking at the discussions or blogs, you will be able to utilize or work through that material through Blackboard. 
So when you're trying to get stuff to me, you want to use Blackboard. When I'm trying to get stuff to you, I'm mostly going to put things on Wix, although I will use the announcement function quite a bit in Blackboard too. So in the next um, day, I would start to get really familiar with these two platforms. I think they're really user friendly, so it should be pretty easy for you to do. And um, just start to get familiar with them and take a look around. If you find that you have any questions, I encourage you to get in touch with me as soon as possible. My email is kcandelaria at csuchico.edu. That's K-C-A-N-D-E-L-A-R-A-A-R-I-A. -A -A -A. I just spelled my name wrong. I'll do that over again. Um, K-C-A-N-D-E-L-A-R-I-A -A -A at csuchico.edu. And if you didn't get that, don't freak out. It's very easy to email me through Blackboard. I've also put multiple links to my email address throughout Wix, so it shouldn't be hard to get to me. And I really encourage you to reach out to me right away. Um, it would be great to start to um, get to know you and um, spend some time with you as soon as possible. So I'm looking really forward to our semester. This is what my background is going to look like. You're hanging out with me at my house. And, my dog just left the room, his name is Mudgy, but you'll get to see him a lot and I'll pick him up and put him into the videos now and then. And I'm really looking forward to our semester. I'm really sorry that um, we don't get to meet face to face because um, it's, it's just not the same. But I want you to know I'm gonna do my best to um, keep us in contact with, another, with one another and build relationships. All right, you all, you'll be hearing more from me really soon. So have a great um, Sunday because it's Sunday and um, I'll be talking with you soon. All right, take care.